Hey guys, what's up? I was working on a React project, a React portfolio kind of project. Uh, it's, it's very easy to implement smooth scrolling in a React app, but this is what I found. And if you know a better way of how to implement smooth scrolling inside React, uh, let me know. Maybe you can just do it as simply as using some simple CSS or the, maybe there's some other easier package. But I found React Scroll and let me show you how to, uh, how to work with React Scroll. So the first thing you want to do is actually head over to my GitHub project, my GitHub repository for React Scroll and download the, uh, download the project so, uh, so that I can show you what I'm talking about. So I'm just going to download it to my desktop. I'll post the link to my uh, to this repository in the description. So we're just going to extract this folder. And we're going to open our code editor inside it. So I, I'm using Visual Studio Code. Great. And now we're just going to install our node modules. So npm install. And we'll wait for this to set up. In the meantime, I'll just tell you about how these, uh, how my project is structured. So in my source folder, I just have a couple of components called header, uh, main, projects, and the contact form. I have a couple of images. And then I have an app.js that basically imports all these components. So header, main, projects, contact form. The header section, the header component has two files, header and the header SCSS file. I'm using SAS. Oh yeah, to use uh, SCSS files in Create React App, you need to have the node SAS package installed. All these packages are finished installing. You can just type npm start and it should load up the site. Right, so this is just a simple site. It looks better in mobile because that's what I designed it for. If I just inspect and bring this out here, there you go, it looks, it looks slightly better now. So this is what I had intended. And so we have the header, we have the main, this is the project section with the projects inside. And finally, we have the contact section. So I'll show you what I'm talking about. So what I'm talking about is when I click on this contact link, it jumps to the contact section. But what I actually want is for it to, uh, for it to smooth scroll to the contact section. And likewise, when I'm here at the contact section, if I wanna scroll all the way back to the top, if I click something, like maybe this header icon or something, it should smooth scroll all, all the way to the top. Great, so we're back in our project. All we have to do now is come over to our project. All right, so we're gonna in install the package, react scroll, npm install react scroll. Whoops, there's an error. Refusing to install package with name react scroll under a package also called react scroll. Ah, okay. So we can fix this. Okay, so our package name is, our, our project name is also react scroll. So that's why the, the package called react scroll is having some sort of problem. So we can just come into our package.json and under under the name key, we're just gonna re, we're just gonna change the name of our project to React from React Scroll to React Scroll dash project. This I think should solve the problem. And we come back here and npm install create React. Uh, sorry, put it on this side so that you guys can see npm install react scroll now it should work and yes it's working so you can see react scroll is installed version 1.7.14 all right 
So main. So back in our main component, we want to turn this into a into a link. So what we'll do is we have to come here and we have to import something called link. Import link. Link is a component, the link from React scroll. As simple as that. And we change the anchor tag to this link that we just imported. So the opening header, the opening tag, as well as the closing tag, link. Then we come down here to the href and change it to a to attribute. We change, we remove the hashtag from the ID contact. We make sure that our contact form component has the same ID. Yes, it has the same ID contact. So now what we're having here in our main is a link that can, that is linked to our contact ID, just like how anchor tags are uh, linked to each other, linked to sections on, 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 on normal HTML, CSS websites. But in addition to this, we just have to add two more basic attributes. One of them is uh, smooth smooth is equal to true and then we set the duration of the animation of the scroll animation so we say duration is equal to we'll put ours one second so that's 1000 milliseconds we save this and let's run npm start And this opens up. Here we are. And now we have the same thing, but this time when we click on contact, it should smooth scroll to the contact section. There we go. It's smooth scrolled all the way down to the bottom. Great. Now a kind of functionality that I wanna add is when I click on this header icon, I want the page to scroll all the way back to the top. How do we do that? Very simple. We come back here. Let's go into our header. Our header component has a header.js and in this and in this we want to import something called animate scroll animate scroll we'll give it an alias animate scroll as scroll from react scroll and then you can see this uh, you can see our logo here it's a div with a class of c-header-logo. I'm using the BEM methodology. So to this, what I want to do is I want to add a click event. So on click, is equal to, on click is equal to, I'm going to add a function and this is going to say, scroll dot scroll to top is the function scroll to top and that's it and I save this this will re-render so I click contact scrolls down but if I click header scrolls all the way to the, to the top Let me show you what else you can do. If you go, if you Google React Scroll, you should find the NPM package. And this is what it is. Pretty simple, everything I just showed you. 
In addition to this, to the uh, to the elements I showed you, like uh, link and animate scroll, there are a couple of others, and they have some good amount of documentation here. You can check it out for yourself. It's pretty easy and straightforward. Here are a couple of the options you can pass in, just like the attributes I, I, I added, like smooth and um, uh, and duration. Here are a couple of more that you can experiment with. This is an example. All right, so that was React Scroll. I hope you guys liked it. And I'll also put a link to a couple of the Google searches. I, I saw an article on Scotch.io that uh, that led me to making this video. It's very simple actually, very easy to follow. So credits to Scotch.io. And um, hey, if you know a better way to implement smooth scrolling in uh, React apps, let me know. I'd like to know. Check out the description if you, if you want the link to the GitHub repo. And uh, like this video if you thought this was valuable to you. I'll see you guys in the next one. Take care.